Hi, Brian Dakey, Fire Chief, City of Beatrice, and welcome to part two of our virtual tour of the fire station. We're going to start off in the classroom. In here, it's where we hold our briefings. Uh, Firefighter Nate Cook's here studying for his paramedic. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's a decent sized room. It's, it's really good for uh, smaller size meetings, shift meetings. Uh, when we get into uh, like department level training, you know, where we have 20 some people on here, it gets a little bit crowded. And we don't even talk about climate control in this room, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, and then we'll, we'll go down this way. So uh, th this is the, the hallway in between the apparatus bay and then the, the rest of the basement of the city auditorium. Uh, for those that were around uh, a few years ago, uh, before 1965, the apparatus bay out there uh, used to be the roller rink, the roller arena. Um, and then on the other side of where the pillars are, uh, used to be the National Guard Armory. So things have kind of changed a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I was told that this area on the left wasn't block wall at the time, it was all opened up um, for the roller skating. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, kind of head down this way and we'll go to our uh, exercise room. So, uh, you know, firefighting, emergency medical services is, is a very physically demanding occupation. Um, actually, they refer to us as occupational athletes. And, uh, you know, we, we allow time uh, during the work day or afterwards in here for uh, the guys to do cardio, uh, strength training, and things along those lines. And, uh, you know, on a side note, all of this equipment that's in here is, uh, has been donated or uh, our fire union has bought some of the material too. So uh, no city tax, do tax dollars have uh, come into play in this area. Okay, and that was our exercise weight room and now we're off to the dormitory. All right, so uh, the, the firefighters work 24 hour shifts so uh, uh, we provide dormitories for them that hopefully they, they get to use. As you can see, it's kind of a, a little bit more of an open air environment, uh, not a lot of privacy. We do have two private uh, dorm rooms in back, kind of by, back by, by the bathroom. Uh, you know, some of the challenges back in here is of course, you know, there's not much privacy and uh, some people snore louder than others, so that kind of interrupts the sleep pattern that's interrupted by our call volume anyways. And uh, you know, with the repairs that have been done with the building, this was kind of one of our, our uh, major leak areas where we had a lot of water coming in where they've done a lot of work to it. Uh, the water flow isn't as bad, but we still do have a little bit of leakage, but uh, public property guys are on it and working on it, and that's why uh, you know, th this room hasn't been touched since the early 90s, basically, outside of the two sleeping dorms. Um, and until the water le leak's been completely fixed, we've just been kind of leaving the stuff alone because it doesn't make sense to repair something that's going to be water damaged here in the near future. So until that problem stays resolved, uh, we're just living like this. So and this is just right outside the dormitory, and as you can see, we have quite the fleet of vehicles between uh, uh, the city department, the rural, you know, our fire apparatus, and so forth. One of the challenges that we have in here, uh, you know, there again, this building was not designed for a fire station, so we, we do have some ventilation exhaust issues. Uh, we do have an older exhaust removal system on some of the trucks. Um, however, there's always challenges with that, and then also they've changed the exhaust requirements on the newer vehicles. So the current exhaust system isn't compatible with the regeneration systems in the, in the diesel trucks. So you know, we, we do the best we can to try to keep this atmosphere clean, um, you know, with diesel trucks and in poor air circulation, it's kind of a challenge. We're gonna head into the kitchen. This one, uh, 
This area has just recently been remodeled a couple years ago. And, and remember we had seven people on duty at one time. And prior to the remodel is about where I'm standing. It, we had a wall, so we had a tiny kitchen with uh, you know some counters and a table over there, and, you know, and the TV with the lockers. And then we had a tiny little living room because remember the guys work here 24 hours, so after hours, uh, if they're not running calls, then they can go you know watch TV, relax, or whatever. So what we did was we knocked down the wall, opened this area up, and it's turned turned this into a very nice living space. So you know we've got we've got plenty of space in here uh, compared to what we've had in the past. And, seems to be working well. Okay, um, you know, we talked about how we live and work uh, here at the station. You know, we also respond to a lot of different type of calls. Uh, last year, we responded to 2,530 calls of service. Um, we're at probably a 200 pace increase on calls if things continue this year. So, you know, it'll be somewhere between 2,700 and 2,800 calls, which has only happened one other time uh, before in the last 10, 15 years. But uh, we, you know, we go on a lot of medical emergencies, uh, injury accidents, uh, you know, hazardous materials, chemical spills, investigations, uh, you know, and obviously the structure fires, house fires, uh, um, you know, and then we still do interfacility transfers from our hospital to other locations. But, uh, you know, we, we not only just serve the uh, citizens of Beatrice, we serve the citizens of Gage County also. Uh, we're uh, primary uh, ambulance transport service for the middle part of the county. And, uh, you know, we do go out there quite a bit. So, so in town, on our, our calls, you know, it's, depending on where you're at in town, it takes us three to five minutes uh, once we get dispatched out to get to uh, the emergency's location. Obviously, you get out of town, that time frame, you know, increases upon that location as well so so we're, we're pretty busy for a you know a community of about 13,000 people with you know 25,000 or 2,500 runs plus uh, and that that 2,500 has kind of been the uh, plateau that we've been out for a few years but as I said we, we've seen a you know increase of, if that trend continues we'll be closer to 2,800 all right, uh, make sure you stop in and uh, view the third and final installment next Friday. Uh, we'll be going out into the apparatus bay, talk about the area out there and our, our different response vehicles. So have a great week and stay safe.